All right, what I'd like to do is show you guys how to simplify two polynomials. Uh, on the first problem, what I have is I have one polynomial, which is actually a trinomial because it has three different terms, subtracted from another polynomial, which is what we call a uh, binomial because it has two terms. So the main important thing <coughs> when subtracting our two polynomials is I have a subtraction. I gotta make sure I distribute. What I like to do is we, um, I wanna distribute that negative sign into each one of my terms. And I can essentially uh, just change it to an addition problem by distributing that negative sign. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna make this minus a negative 4b. I'm gonna change it to an addition. I'm gonna make that a negative 4b and then make that a positive two. Because what I did was I subtracted, I multiplied the negative into each one of those terms. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect the terms to the, uh, or I'm gonna combine my like terms. So I have seven b squared minus four b squared. Six b, there's nothing else that has just one b. Or I'm sorry, b to an exponent of one. And then I have a negative seven plus two. So now that I've grouped the terms so they're next to each other, now it's very easy to kind of see my math. I can do seven minus four b is going to b squared is going to be three b squared plus six b and negative seven plus two is a negative five. Take note: you cannot combine when you your exponent uh, your b to the exponent two and your b to the exponent one. They're not like terms. You cannot combine them. Just the same as you cannot combine your five and your six b. Okay, so that is going to be a simplified version. Now on multiplication, we have to use some of our rules of the distributive property. So you, if you guys remember, a quick rule about distributive property, you gotta multiply the a times c plus the a times d, right? Well now what we have is we have a binomial multiplied by a trinomial. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to multiply each term inside of our binomial times our trinomial. So I'm gonna write it out nice and big. I'm gonna do a times a cubed, um, I'll write it on minus a times 3ab minus a times b squared. Then I need to do with my b. And I can go ahead and simplify this. a times a times a to the first times a to the third is a to the fourth. Minus a times uh, minus three. A times a is gonna be a squared. B minus a b squared. Then I multiply b times a cubed is gonna be a positive uh, a cubed b. B times three a b, negative three a b is gonna be negative three a. B times b is b squared. And b times uh, a negative b squared is going to be, remember I add my exponents, is going to be a negative b cubed. Now I need to look at, do I have any like terms that I can combine? Over here, I was able to combine these because they were like terms. So I look, is there any, any other number with an a to the fourth? No. Is there any other term with an a squared and a b? No. Is there any other term with a b squared and an a? And you look and you say yes. These two terms both have an a to the exponent of one and a b to the exponent of two. And so a negative, um, uh, a negative a b squared minus another three a b squared is gonna be a negative four a b squared. And I don't have another like term there, another like term. So I rewrite my whole answer. a to the fourth, negative three a squared b minus four a b squared plus a cubed b minus b cubed. And that will be my final answer. So that's how you simplify two polynomials.